So we get a Nick Suzuki bobblehead for free. I am counting that as our <laughs> merchandise item. So we're still at $50. You cheeky Canadian. What can 100 loonies get you at a hockey game? G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. This particular video was suggested to me by one of my members on Discord. Shout out to Glass City Gordy. Thank you so much for this suggestion. Mate, cost of living, it's bad everywhere. Like everything has skyrocketed since COVID. Here in Australia, I've seen things in Canada as well, some videos that I haven't reacted to. It's a bit sad. I don't really want to react to them. But yeah, we all know all around the world, the cost of living has just skyrocketed. Hey, mate. The Premier of Queensland at the moment is even talking about cancelling the 2032 Olympics that Brisbane, Queensland is hosting because it's just going to cost too much money. Anyway, I've had a watch through this little video, just little bits. It's really, really interesting. It's focusing on the prices of merch and drinks and tickets and things. Mate, I know in Australia, you go to a footy game, you get a cheap footy ticket. Like you can pay 20, 30 bucks for a footy ticket. But mate, you're going to pay seven, eight bucks for a sausage roll and you're going to be paying like $15 for a beer. It's the food and the drinks that they really get you for. Okay, let's get into this video. What can 100 loonies get you at a hockey game? Let's roll. What if we can make a hockey game so affordable we get the full experience for less than $100? Today I'm in Montreal, Canada going to the greatest place where you can watch a hockey game in the NHL, the Bell Centre. Home of the Montreal Canadiens where I'm setting my budget to a hundred Canadian dollars to try and show you the best deals. All right, but first let's we go. need to set some rules. Rule number one, I can't ask anyone to buy anything for me. Rule number two, <laughs> along with my ticket, I need to purchase a food, drink, and merchandise item. Wow. Rule number three, I must stay under the hundred dollar limit. And last but not least, rule number four, if the Habs win, I need to go out and celebrate with some fellow fans. <laughs> However, if I break any of these rules, I need to take these two ginger health shots I got at a local coffee shop for punishment okay i think we have those health shots here that exact same one he's gonna skull down those two ginger ones if he breaks his full rules oh no not nice um interesting okay so he has 100 dollars. he has to buy the ticket buy drinks buy food and buy a merch item and cannot go over 100 loonies well, wow, that's interesting. I'm just going through it in my head right now. In Australia, like I said, if it's just an average game, not like a state of origin, just your average NRL footy game, you're going to pay, depending on where you seat, if you want a crappy seat, you're going to pay like 30 bucks, okay? So 30 bucks will get you a ticket. All right, let's move on to drinks. Mate, if you want to get one beer, you're going to pay 10 bucks, so 40 bucks. If you want a pie, you're probably going to pay or eight bucks, all right? A merch item, that's where they're going to get you. You are not going to get a shirt or a jersey for under 100 bucks. No way, no how. You'll get a hat. You'll get like the baseball cap. That's about it, and that will cost you 50 bucks. You may be lucky to get an old sponsorship shirt from a couple of years ago, a couple of seasons ago for 50 bucks. But yeah, in Australia, you are not going to get a shirt for 50 bucks for any team, I don't think. No way, no how. Minimum 75 bucks. If you order it online, you'll get them cheaper, but they're on the day, no way, because they're going to make their money on the day. And merch is the way they do it. Good evening, Montreal. I just got to my hotel room, but I still do not have my ticket spot for this evening. So I'm going to hop on Ticketmaster right now. And we're going to see if we can get a ticket for tonight's matchup of the Canadians versus the Kraken. This will be my first ever time watching Seattle play live. So I'm pretty excited. What do we got here? Now I had to buy the cheapest ticket yeah. to help us keep within our budget. So Absolutely. Both Montreal and Seattle wrong. So zero results. Alrighty, so we're not completely <laughs> breaking the bank. I found one here for $50. Gonna go wow. and buy that there now. Literally cuts our budget in half right at the rear. You're but hey, screwed. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna get merch, mate. You could get a sticker, maybe. <laughs> oh, look at Montreal. It just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, the snow. 
So obviously I could have taken a cab, but I'm only a 20 minute walk. So we're saving money on the budget here now. Oh by yeah. Doing this and getting our steps in. Yeah. Well, hold on. Here's an interesting question for you. Um, do you guys have free public transport provided with you when you, when you purchase your ticket? So in Australia, well, I know in Queensland particularly, if you want to go and see the Broncos play at Suncorp Stadium, this is a stadium that holds 50,000 people. If you buy a ticket, you have free public transport on bus and rail. So, yeah, do you guys have that in Canada? Is that offered to you? So this guy, obviously, he's paid 50 bucks already. He's only got 50 bucks left to buy a drink, something to eat, and some merch. In Australia, that's not going to happen. You're out, mate. You're done. You're cactus. <laughs> you have failed. You're going to shooey skull those little nasty little ginger health things that you didn't want to have to drink. Oh, so this is the Montreal Canadiens. This is their home ground. Okay. That's pretty cool, man. Wow. All right, we just walked in the door, and I am saying that part of this challenge is completed. We were one of the first 8,000 fans, so we get a Nick Suzuki bobblehead for free. I am counting that as our oh. merchandise item, so we're still at $50. You cheeky Canadian. No, no, no. I, I don't believe that. No, because this dude was one of the first, what, 8,000 to walk in there. He gets this free bobblehead of this player, Nick Suzuki. He did not buy that. That was gifted to him. Yes, they say if you're the first 8,000 that walk in here with your paid ticket, you get this for free. You, you didn't buy this. I, I just, I think you need to buy something. To make this legit, you have to buy something, mate. You've still got to buy merch and drink and something to eat. But obviously you're including this. So that means you've got 50 loonies to get a drink and some food. Matt, you should do that easy. You should smash that out easy. But yeah, I'm a little bit dodgy. I think this this bit here is a little bit dodgy. But anyway, so he was saying that one of his favorite players is out for 10 to 12 weeks. So yeah, that's heartbreaking, isn't it, mate? I'm a diehard Sydney Roosters fan, my NRL team here in Australia. And when you hear stuff like that about your players out, mate, 10 to 12 weeks, that's half a season. If they're your playmaker and they're out for that long, mate, you pretty much have to write your entire season off, don't you? I'm not quite too sure where the Montreal Canadiens are on the ladder or Seattle team. Mate, I know my Winnipeg Jets, we're second, we're doing good. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> this is very, very cheeky here what he's done with this. I'm not sure if I like this bit. <laughs> I may regret this, but I took it out of the box. Here's what it looks like. I got a camera bag, so you know what? I'm just going to store him safely in there so he doesn't get broken in the rest of the travels. But that's actually a pretty cool little souvenir for just showing up early. You need to buy a water bottle, mate. A $10 water Alrighty, bottle. Alrighty, here is the view for the night. Section 324, BB, row, seat 11. I actually think that this is... That's pretty quite... cool, man. Perfect, if you ask me. It's pretty Montreal's cool. going to be shooting twice on that end. It really doesn't get much better. Anyways, there is a food fair downstairs, which I'm going to go to now. I have not eaten yet today. Let's see if we can find something budget-friendly. We are Ooh. in Quebec. You know we had to do it and get a poutine. I went with a mac and cheese poutine this evening for $19, which right now brings our total to $69. It's got some barbecue. Okay, so he's... In Quebec, obviously. Oh my gosh. So yes, he's going to speak French. A lot of them are going to speak French because I heard him say merci, which is, you know, his thank you. So what has he got here? He's built, he has bought a poutine mac and cheese for about 19 bucks. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty, that looks like it's a pretty mean feed, mate. I'd give that a go for sure. But yeah, so he's still got 31 bucks. So how much does it cost for a beer at a hockey game in Canada? I guess we'll find out. Like I said, I'm still really sketchy. It's a bit dicey that he took the free little pop head thing he got and he classed that as merchandise. But yeah, I don't think you'd pull it off, mate. Another question is bottles of water. How much does it cost you to buy just a bottle of water at a hockey game in Canada? In Australia, you'll pay, mate, anywhere between 6 to $9. And what's really creepy is, is they'll take the, the lid off. They'll just give you the water bottle, but they won't let you have the lid. 
I don't know why. It's obviously for security reasons. Like everything is plastic. All the alcohol and stuff is in plastic, I think. You don't get glass anymore. It's all in plastic. But yeah, they, they took away our water bottle lid at the most recent concert we went to. And yeah, I just found it really, really weird that they took our water bottle lid from us. Do they do that in Canada? But And how much do you pay for just a bottle of 600 ml water? Because the prices are crazy. Just go to the toilet and have a drink of water from the tap. You saw some mac and cheese, the cheese curds and the fries. Oh, there you go, the cheese curd. A little one bite here. Oh, get it in you, mate. The tang from the barbecue sauce is a great touch. Let's try one of these little balls here. I definitely have it with barbecue sauce. I love barbecue sauce. Where some of our mac and cheese are just hardened to. We've got a solid fry. This gets a strong 8.2. 8.2? We are now down to our last $31. There you go. Dollars. I think I'm going to try and stretch it because obviously we just need to get the drink now. But let's see if we can find a few more items to just sprinkle in there for the sake of it. Maybe a water bottle. Nice, That's just 100 bucks would, in Australia. Yeah, it would take us $80. It would definitely yeah. take us over the budget. Yeah. Maybe just a little bell center tip for you. If you're in the three or four hundreds, once you go up, you can't go back down. Unless you're lucky like me and the nice staff attendant lets you come back down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse the angle. I don't have any more hands, but I did get a piece of chocolate cake for nine twenty-five, which now brings our total to seventy-eight twenty-five. Alrighty, one bite here. I don't know if it's worth spending ten bucks on a piece of cake. Nah, not gonna do that. <laughs> that is surprisingly really moist, like fresh. Gets an eight point eight. Warm up. Looks like it's warm up time. Yeah, mate, there's no way I'm going to pay <laughs> 10 bucks for a piece of cake. <laughs> not at a game, not, not, at a, not at a cool sporting event. No way. <laughs> Save your loonies and toonies for something else. What I mean by a water bottle is maybe you could get like a Montreal Canadiens like water cup, you know, like a water bottle to drink your water out of, something like that maybe. But yeah, for 10, 15 bucks maybe in Australia. You might be able to get like a Sydney Roosters one for 10, 15 bucks. I'm not quite too sure, but yeah. <laughs> so he's got 21.75 left and he still needs to buy a, a beer or a beverage of some sort. And he did say if the Canadians won, he wanted to celebrate after. So yeah, I think he might be in a bit of trouble here. It is three to one after the second period. Another solid performance by the Canadians. They slow down at the end there, but we got to find how to spend the rest of our twenty-one seventy-five. Okay, hold on. So it's three to one. So the Montreal Canadiens—they're doing pretty good against this Seattle team, aren't they? All right. So, all right. It's down to the nitty-gritty. He's got twenty-one seventy-five left, and he wanted a beverage, and he wants to celebrate after the win. Mate, I think he's going to fall short. <laughs> it looks like, you know, unless a miracle happens, they may win this game against Seattle. He's not going to have enough loonies and turnies, mate. I, I think he's going to fall short. The cake. The cake's going to cause him trouble. He spent nearly 10 bucks on that cake. So for $14, we got some popcorn and water finally getting our drink. Yeah, get some water into here, mate. No beer here this evening because this is now 12 months Alcohol free for me. The oh, water whoa. popcorn combo. Fourteen dollars, which means we have seven dollars and twenty-five cents left in the budget. Okay, well, congratulations on the twelve months alcohol free. Whether that was a life choice or something for you, mate, well done. I wish you would have made that clear at the start of the video, buddy. <laughs> Instead of pretty much all the way at the end, because we're thinking, you know. You go to a hockey game, you're gonna want you're gonna want to buy a brewski. But obviously, clearly you're not. You're gonna celebrate it with a Coke. And that's cool, mate, because I myself, I love Coke Zero. It is the drink of champions. <laughs> I go to a pub, have a meal, mate. I'm not throwing down a beer because I don't drink much myself either. But I will get myself a big jug of Coke Zero and just shoey it down. <laughs> Can you shoey a Coke Zero? Do you guys even know what a shoey is? After this, I want you to get onto YouTube, Google Daniel Ricardo shoey. 
and you will see what a shoey is. It's disgusting. But apparently it's Australian and yeah, it's just gross. Nothing like a Habs win in the Bell Center, a four to two victory. Wow. I said right. four to three, so you know what? I was close enough. Pretty close. Sean Monaghan, though, what a game. Former Ottawa 67s boy. You love to see it. Now, I have $7.75 left in my budget if I did my math right. So that means I've got all of the rules accomplished except for one. Mm. I got to go out now and celebrate with some Habs fans. And if not, I got to take some ginger shots. So hopefully I can find some lively Montreal Canadian fans. That's easy, mate. Just find a couple of Montreal Canadiens fans that have got the shirts on. Mate, have a drink with them. They'll be having a couple of beers. You'll be having, you know, a couple of Cokes or whatever. That's cool. You can easily do that. Again, I'm still a little bit iffy on you getting a free bubble head of some player and classing that as paid for merchandise. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got some happy fans here, mate. Eve, are you there? <laughs> Wow. He's a diehard fan, I, I think that counts as celebrating with some Habs fans. And just because I know some of you have strictly been watching this video, here, I'll lay you down to see me suffer. Are you going to do it anyway, mate? I'll do the ginger shots there now. Put it in your shoe okay. and just Bottoms drink up. it. Cheers. That's a shoey. Go. <laughs> yeah. We sell that exact oh, that brand terrible. here in Australia. Number two. Oh, well, it's kind of warming me up. Oh, yeah, it'll warm me up, mate. I didn't know what they expect. Now that the second one. Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh, you'll be all warm on the inside now, buddy. <coughs> oh. <Ugh. laughs> no drops. <sighs> yeah. <coughs> there you have it, guys. What can 100 loonies get you at a hockey game? Well, there you go. That was very, very interesting. Really cool, really fun. Um, the arena for the Montreal Canadiens. That looks really cool. How many people can fit there? These um, stadiums, they look like they're purpose-built just for hockey. Can you do much else there? I'm not quite too sure, guys. In the comments, let me know. But all in all, this was a really cool video. Um, the merch prices, they don't really surprise me at all. In Australia, mate, it's crazy. You just don't buy merch when you go to a game. You go online, you look for good deals. But yeah, my Sydney Rooster shirt is like five years old. I'm only going to have to get a new one for 2025 because we're changing our major sponsor. So yeah, we've got a new major sponsor for 2025. So I'm going to have to get a new one next year. But mate. In Australia, you still see people wearing football jerseys of their teams for like 20, 30 years ago because a jersey here in Australia will cost you like 150 bucks minimum. Yeah, who can afford that? Cost of living, no one can. But yeah, that was a really fun, cool video. Maybe I should try and do it, eh? Maybe I should go out to a Brisbane Broncos game and see what I can get for 100 Australian dollars. But I'm never going to buy any Brisbane Broncos merch. That's not going to happen. So <laughs> we might be able to see if I can get a Sydney Roosters game or something. I don't know. That's for the future. That was the video for today, guys. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers from that under. Go the Winnipeg Jets. Bye.